Hey, it's Joe Glantz from Automator, and uh, this is an extract from our new course, Rising Above PC Incompetence. And when I used to work at Corporate America, I'd look around at my colleagues and watch them use a computer, uh, and it was just painful because, and I'm not knocking them, right? They they work hard, and the thing is, they work, you know, crazy hours, and then they use a PC very inadequately, like they're just not geeks, which I don't blame them, but... Um, that's what this extract, like you'll see in here, we teach you how to use a computer more efficiently, right? So real quickly, the, the course right now has a little bit over four hours worth of content. There's 65 videos. The average length is about 3.7 minutes. So they're broken down into bite-sized things. We offer a double your money back guarantee. So whatever you pay for it, if you're not happy within the first 30 days, not only give you your money back, but we'll double what you paid for it. Um, you can get a quick outline here. I'll put the URL up on the page if you look at it. But we use, you know... Um, Learning, obviously, a lot of keystrokes, right, and navigation, just how to select text, how to do stuff with it, folder and file management. Uh, also, a lot of hotkeys for just launching, getting quickly to where you want to go, um, and just a lot of other tips. So check it out. Hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video, please like the video. It really helps us out. Check out the course if you're interested because, again, you probably use a computer a lot, and why not learn how to use it better? All right, cheers. The next tip that I'm going to talk about is going to save you a little bit of time when you're navigating between folders in your computer. And the reason for this is because uh, you will notice when I when we open Explorer, let me go ahead and share my screen to show that. When we open Explorer here, you have two panels. One of them is where you see the icons and stuff. But on the left side, you usually have what is called a tree view that shows the hierarchy between folders and files in your computer. This just shows you the current files in a given folder, but this one actually shows the, uh, the structure of whatever you are. The only thing is that as you're noticing here, um, when I am in one folder like this, this side does not get updated, which means that um, if I just dive into a very specific location let's say that i go to the s drive i enter into one of these guys um i might find i might lose my way very easily because the left side is not really getting updated to my current location and probably i don't know what the hierarchy of the folders is where i just entered the tip here is that you can go to these options by going here you go to the three dots go to options and if you go to the view tab and scroll down to the bottom of it one of the uh, here you have a section that is only about the navigation pane which means this site right here on the left and one of the options here is to expand on to the open folder and that will save you a ton of time you will see in a second what that means because if I go to the F drive and I just go inside another folder the left side here just got updated as to where am I and you will see later on let me see if I can find one that has many files and folders inside it you will notice here that as I go deeper into the structure here it is showing me the structure of that folder and now if i just want to go back to one of the previous folders then i can just click here but as you noticed this gets updated as we go so let me go ahead and close this up open it up again and see what happens if i go to the s drive and go inside yeah you see so this is very cool it helps me keep track of the hierarchy of where i'm located at and um, some people like it that way some people don't i think it's the same you can get the same um uh, well you can get the same results by looking at the top of your screen here and it is telling you how you have actually navigated to a given path the only problem here is these are buttons if you click it jumps into that location but sometimes you just want the path so you would have to click in there to actually get the path of that folder and so on. So some people don't like dealing with this and they just want to be able to take a look at the hierarchy and just navigate through this site instead, which might be easier in certain situations. So you have both options. 
and this one on uh, the syncing of it, you can only find it in the options as I just showed you.